And now I'll bring you through into the hallway. If we turn, oh, <laughs> that's an outtake. Hello. Behind me, I have a Nick and a Jeff. And as you can tell, we are not at home. We are in a beautiful flat right in the heart of Hastings Old Town. And we've come away for the week to have a bit of a rest and enjoy the seaside. Hopefully the weather's going to be good. But we are staying in a beautiful historical building. And the flat is is an Airbnb, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour to start with and show you around before we mess it up because it looks absolutely stunning. So in 1806, this building was the Duke of Wellington's headquarters. Um, it's currently an antique shop, which is very nice. We're gonna probably go and check that out at some point. Um, and it's been divided into three flats above and we are right at the top. So we have absolutely beautiful sash windows behind us, which you can't see because it's too bleached. So what I'm going to do is start at the very beginning and give you a little bit of a tour going round. So when you come in from the front door, you come up the first flight of stairs and you're greeted with the Duke of Wellington looking down on you. And then we're going to head upstairs to the flat. So we get to the top and then this is our flat here. Coming through to the left and we're in the living room and there's a plane going over just, just at the right time. And we've got little Jeff who's making himself at home down there. So the attention to detail is absolutely wonderful. We've got antiques all over the flat from the shop below and most items are priced so you can actually purchase them. Funnily enough, that was the kind of idea we had, wasn't it? It when was we one thinking. of the ideas, yeah. So yeah, that's the thing that we were thinking of doing um, if, if we had any Airbnb and we, we may do in the future. But we were thinking of having a few of our things as decoration dotted around the place um, with price stickers on, like these scales up here. And yeah, there's a brilliant marketing ploy, to be honest. So let me turn you around again. We have the sofa here. And then, as I was saying, these gorgeous sash windows. Oh, you can see the sea here with beautiful sea views. Do you want me to make the record player work? Yeah, and there is a vintage record player, his master's voice, which Nick has been playing with. <laughs> This little area here where you can just sit and look out the window and then they've got this little area in the corner where we can sit and eat and a very nice little modern kitchen so that is the living room and then I'll bring you through into the hallway and if we turn left 
we find the bathroom, which is a lovely modern bathroom, but they've added antique furniture as an extra touch, which I really like. I like the mixture of the modern and antique. And I love the way that they've used a tablecloth for a curtain. That's brilliant. Okay, coming back this way, this is the front door. But if we turn left. <laughs> Do you mind? Do you... I'm, I'm trying to have a banana in the bath. What are you doing? I wondered where you'd gone. <laughs> We find Nick in the bath. <laughs> there's, there's no water and I'm fully clothed, so do not fear. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Again, we've got lovely sea views and a, and a view of a roller coaster. The pigeon up there. Yeah. No seagulls, but pigeons. And all the sash windows are working, which is lovely to see. Yeah. Often they're not. The bed is just absolutely scrumptious is the only word I can think <laughs> to describe that. <laughs> Your face. I'm still in the bath. You're still in the bath. Oh, I noticed these on the wall. I love that. There's two of them. don't know what they would have been originally. Do you know? No. Oh. Stunning. And then you come across, got like a little dressing table. Got a price on it. Oh, we could buy the dressing table. How much? I don't know what that says. Two, two five, I think. I, I don't know what that says. <laughs> I think it's been there a long time. It's faded. Yeah. So coming across, I like the bedside tables, and this is an interesting thing. This is the wardrobe. It looks like an old sort of changing tent type thing, like a medieval changing tent, although I'm sure it's not that old really. But coming through, I've already hung my, my jumper up. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. Certainly a quirky little touch there. And I love this. I'm on the lookout for something like this for our bedroom. Nick is investigating what's in the drawers. <laughs> Otherwise called being nosy. But we have discovered there is a steamer. Well, I think it's a steamer. It must be, though. It's got water in it. Yeah. There was also a, a heater yeah. down there. So those are really nice touches. Um, <laughs> I've, I've made sure the window isn't open too much so that... Jeff can have a sniff, but he can't get out. But you can open up the whole way. You can do, but we won't do that with Jeff around. Well, not unsupervised anyway. Have you seen the mule over there? Oh, wow. So that's the tour of our one bedroom flat. Jeff is desperate to get up on the bed, but he's not allowed. Good job it's a bit high, so he can't actually jump up. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do tonight. Probably go out into the town, explore a little bit, and find some food somewhere. I'm planning to vlog some of the trip away this week, so you can come along with us and see what Hastings is like.
giant octopus. Well, we can get can't down focus there. on him. There he is. Isn't that stunning? Of cheese cottage. Well, walk that oh, way. Oh, yeah. We saw that in a YouTube video. We did. Michael Mouse. <laughs> We've come into St Leonard's for a little mosey around. Um, we explored Hastings mostly yesterday and it was glorious weather. Today's a bit more overcast and quite chilly. You forgot your coat, didn't you? I was optimistic, <laughs> that's what I was. So I'm wearing coat and sunglasses today. It's a good mixture. <laughs> but yeah, we've um, come, I think we're heading right into town now and we can have a look because people have talked about how quaint and arty it is and quirky so I'm quite looking forward to having a little mosey around. in a charity shop. Oh, headed for a charity shop.
place in the end. It's tiny little restaurant. Found a spot on the beach to eat some sandwiches that we've just bought in the co-op. Um, it's we not know fish and chips lift. on the beach, but you know, meal deal on the beach. <laughs> That's more more our style. It's how we rock. <laughs> Jeff's having a, a little wander around and hoping he's going to get some sandwich. Do you want my sandwich? It's absolutely gorgeous here today. Well, there are some ominous clouds. Yeah. It's a bit cloudy, but I'm actually warm enough to take my coat off now, so that helps. So we're in St. Leonard's, and there's the pier, that way. Is that, is that Hastings Pier? <laughs> yeah. So, so that's Hastings Pier. The pier's kind of in between both. Okay. It's kind of the point where it changes, kind of. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy our sandwiches. The other record shop. <laughs> oh, is this little one alright or not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Okay, no worries. Hiya. Hello. Is it all new stuff or a mix of both? Mix, mix, mix of both. Yeah. Or mixed in together? 
there, and then there's two, two, three lots of um, just new stuff over there. Okay, no worries. So we're in Ride today, and you've already found a little record shop, haven't you? Two. Yeah. And <laughs> I bought something. <laughs> so yeah, we're just having a little wander around in the sunshine. It's a beautiful town. You should have filmed in so this far. record shop. It's the cutest little record shop in the world. I did film a little bit so you can see what it looks like and in the other record shop. And the guy so. in there was really chatty and we had a good chat about retail and fun stuff. Yeah. So where next? We found one charity shop but we couldn't take Jeff in so we didn't bother. <laughs> I think we're going to find something to drink, aren't we, maybe? Well, some, some refreshment, that's maybe what something we do. to eat. We, we find a pub. We're on holiday. Yeah. I licked it so it's mine. Did you? <laughs> I don't know what I've licked today. <laughs> See that in this light? how it works. I don't think they do any vegan. Right. I just I just had a look at the menu. Doesn't seem to be any vegan ice cream. Right. Disclaimer, I haven't been licking stuff, by the way. Yet. Yet. <laughs> wow. This is right up my street. I don't know if we'll be allowed to have Jeff in here though. You're very welcome in with the dog if you'd like. Oh, we, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, look at these. Wow. Oh, these are look at those Christmas lamps. decorations here. Gorgeous. Come look at and this. these bunnies. Oh, I love these vases too. Oh, I'm in pottery heaven. Yeah, you've got these. <laughs> Christmas tree. Oh, 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 I might just have to, you know. Oh no, hang on a minute. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was imagining maybe like five or oh, ten pounds. Yeah. I was thinking ten tops. Crumbs. But you know, there's a lot of work that's gone into this. Chickens, 57. Yeah. There is a hell of a lot of work that's gone into all of this. So. That's why it has a high price ticket. Okay. Guesses, guesses for the rabbit. What's your guess on the rabbit? Comments below. Um, 55. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Wow. They are lovely. Look at this. I know. I love it. It's a lamp bird. So beautiful. Canterbury Tales. Oh, I see. They're all the characters from the ca uh, Canterbury Tales book. Yeah. 109.50. Wow. I love this design. I think this is my favourite. Very simple, but very classic. Like, like yourself? <laughs> like me. Simple like me. Oh, look, you can buy individual tiles. Oh, yeah. Four pounds each. Okay. That's actually quite reasonable, isn't it? That's yeah. You could do a mix and match kind of, could. or build up a pattern. Yeah, I like that. No. Oh, there's loads here, look, I've just seen. Oh, that was nice. 
tiles are lovely. Yeah, su yeah. super simple, but... If we were doing up a kitchen, or even a bathroom, that would be ideal. But yeah, still I'm drawn to these. Drawn to this design. These lamps. Oh, if I could afford one, I'd take one home. <laughs> Stunning. Hey, where did I come from? So we found a lovely pub. And we're having a cider. And Nick is going to explain to you what the cider is. Bear with. Right, it's actually on there, it shakes. And the, the lady who, I think they run this pub and they have a winery. They make their own wines, Jake's wines. And they've now branched out into ciders and they now do a lager and an IPA. I think it's the son of the family has branched out into all of this. Amazing, it's all on tap in there. really good isn't it? It's good. Sorry, what? Oh, it's really good. Away. You were. What were you doing? About to Instagram. Oh, being, <laughs> being, a, being a social media person. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's good. If you're ever in Rye, highly recommend. It's fruity. It's very it's, fruity. It's a berry one if you want to. And very refreshing. It's lovely. Did you say very refreshing? If I did, I didn't mean to, <laughs> but it's apt. That's a weird name for a shop. It is a bit. Definitely seen sets like that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a piece for the lampstand. Yeah, it's quite lava. Yeah, that's the sort of stuff that we want to find in charity shops, but at a fraction of the price, isn't it? <laughs> we, we love that sort of stuff, but. Being a thrifter, I don't want to spend those prices. I want to find them in charity shops. Bus going by. Bus. <laughs> or at an auction. Yeah. Or at an auction, an auction, definitely, yes. Not afraid to do things up, not afraid of a little bit of work, but there were some beautiful things in there. just had a lovely tour of this gorgeous vineyard which has been three years in the in the making isn't it? Not, not the vineyard. This, the no, <laughs> the tour itself in terms of we bought a voucher or I bought a voucher for you for Christmas 2019 
and we've finally used it and it's been a really lovely day. Um, we may have sampled some of the produce. We definitely sampled some of the produce. We've had a nice lunch here and yeah, we just had a really lovely day. Now we're chilling out waiting for a taxi because neither of us can drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't had a huge amount to be fair. No, we were just there sampling were more, wine. Yeah, but... there are more sips than anything else but it's <clears> been nice. Yeah. It's been really really interesting because I've never really given it that much thought, <laughs> you know, how it's made, how, you know, sort of the science of it and all of that. Sorry if it's windy. Cover the microphone. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what's the most memorable fact we learnt? The most memorable fact we learnt is that at least six people a year die from opening a champagne bottle at a wedding. You're welcome. <laughs> they, they get hit by the corks and have brain hemorrhage. Yeah. Shocking. So be careful really out shocking. there. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, definitely. time to leave really sad because I've loved staying here so much goodbye flat <laughs> it's been so nice waking up here every single morning you might be able to hear Nick coming up the stairs he's um doing the trips back and forth to the car got a little Jeff all ready to go and yeah it's sad to leave but we're going to meet Ellen today, so I'm excited about that. Hello, I'm just saying you're running up and down the stairs <laughs> with all the stuff. There's a film crew filming outside the door, which is so helpful. Oh, that doesn't help at all, no. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to meet Ellen today and um, have a little wander around Hastings and St Leonard's. So I'm excited to see her. And then we're going to head home. Jeff, Jeff, who's coming? Who's coming? Who's this? Who's coming? Jeff. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, you alright? You're going to do the, um, <laughs> the little dance. Come on, Jeff. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. I said to Nick and Ellen, just walk up the steps. I'll follow you. I'll do a little pan as you're walking up the steps. And then Jeff, Jeff decided he wanted to speak to a dog and, um, Never work and it with, all went wrong. Never work with children or animals. <laughs> so, or husbands. You know, you try to get these arty shots, but in reality, you have a dog and he, he doesn't care. Link all of the roads together.
I love this little road, it's so sweet. Every morning I walk up and down here with Jeff. Oh, is this near where you stayed? Just around the corner.